Some news items. First, the full interview with Rob France is up on ANCReport.com right now, uh, going over French neocolonialism, and I'm really interested in who's financing all these Salafi groups, these Wahhabi groups, these nuts. You see them in Syria, you see them in Mali, you see them in Somalia. We all know it's Qatar and Saudi Arabia, but I'm wondering if there's not an extra layer of puppeteers above that, and we had a discussion about that. Now, on to Israel, <clears throat> the country I love to hate because they are a bunch of psychotic, ethnic cleansing, murdering bastards. Uh, Bibi Netanyahu, the man who helped steal nuclear uh, triggers from the United States, is doing his normal post-Christmas lunatic attacks on uh, toddlers. They killed a three-year-old Palestinian girl two days ago. They killed two more people today. Uh, just bombing random targets, murdering civilians, and they're saying now that's not enough. That's just the beginning. If you remember, uh, post-2008 Christmas, they went in and murdered over a thousand people in Palestine. They even bombed chicken farms, just whatever. They don't care. They want them dead. Um, Gaza's already been suffering from the floods and has manure flowing in their streets. But uh, the Israelis are there safely in their American bought and paid for uh, jets and helicopters, shooting rockets and uh, missiles into houses and into streets and into cars and just killing whoever the hell they want. Because that's what Israel is. It is a racist regime built around ethnic cleansing and genocide. On a lighter note, The e-book is out, Separation of Business and State. You can go to ANC, as in anti-neocons, ANCReport.com and get the e-book right now. I will email it to you, gladly. It's pretty much just like the title says, we need a separation of business and state. There's a description there on the page and you can check that out. Please do get it. Uh, that helps me finance my films and everything else I'm doing. And instead of just a raw donation, you get a book out of it. So, it's a win-win situation. Stop all foreign aid to Israel. Peace, and have a good day, and happy holidays.